Hi everyone, this is Pat, and the message that I have for you tonight I have entitled, Wake Up From Your Slumber. The Bible verse is Romans chapter 13 verse 11, and do this, understanding the present time. The hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber, because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. Well, let me pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I thank you again for your scripture that teaches us. I pray, Father, that the things that you have shown to me tonight, that I will be able to share them in a way that can be helpful to others. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, I pray. Amen. Again, the message is called, Wake Up From Your Slumber. In the Bible, verses Romans 13, 11. And do this, understanding the present time. The hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber. Because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. There are many things um, in the world, many controversies um, at this time that are happening. As I make uh, this recording, is still um, in the middle of COVID. Um, new strains have been discovered and people are full of fear about what is going to happen. In addition to that, um, as I make this um, recording, um, there are many fights now about the vaccine and whether a um, person, if they haven't gotten the vaccine, what that really means. And, and so it's um, a lot of fighting that's going on right now. But one of the things that I am certain of is that I have to be very careful not to allow the controversies of the world around me to cause me to want to check out and run away. Um, when I feel um, overcrowded or not knowing what to do next, I could go back into my flesh, which um, really, when things got too bad, I ate. Um, that was the way that I checked out. But I also had other ways to, sometimes I would sleep a long time. And so I like these verses that remind me to wake up from my slumber. I'm thankful because God's word tells me this. It says that if I abide in the word of God, then I show that I am his disciple and I will know the truth and the truth will set me free. And so whatever is going on in my life, if I get into the word of God, put my heart into the truth, then I will come back to that knowledge of the truth, and the truth will set me free. Um, Jesus is coming back, and every day puts us closer to his return than the day before. Therefore, right now, the war is heating up, and God is needing me to be ready, not asleep on the job. Not only me, but he needs the same for, for all of us. So I have three scripture. The first one is Mark thirteen thirty five through 37. And here it reads, Therefore keep watch, because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back, whether in the evening or at midnight or when the rooster crows or at dawn. If he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say. You know, we have been called to use our senses. You know, we have been called um, to do that. We don't know, um, you know, when Jesus is going to come back. Um, but we we don't want um, to be asleep. We don't want um, to for him to come and find us that we were not alert. And so we are called um, to take note of who still needs to know the message of salvation. And if we are drunk with the food or if we are taking our own pleasure in thinking that um, we need to, like, um, 
you know, women who need baby, you know, bubble baths all the time. Um, that's what some of us can do with our sleep, um, thinking that, you know, just because some magic number was given about the amount of hours we should sleep um, every night, um, some people will let it run their life, and that's not right. We're not called to run our lives, you know, based on those things that are taught um, from secular realms that um, we look to the Word and we find out what the Word offers us. Um, the um, next um, set of scripture that I wanted to look at was Matthew 16, um, 2 to 3. And that scripture reads, He replied, When evening comes, you say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning... Today it will be stormy, for the sky is red and overcast. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the time. Um, in order to um, discern God's voice, um, we really have to have a heart for him. We want to follow him. We're not using him, you know, as some type of as I've called before, genie in the bottle. We're not trying to rub the bottle and have him meet our every demand. And so uh, we definitely have to be in the Word. And if we're in the Word, then the Word helps us to interpret the true signs of what is happening. Um, it's not about the weather, although people, you would think sometimes listening to people about the weather, you would think that the weather was higher than God himself. And so, no, this is not true. And yes, people can predict the weather, um, but they do not know when the Lord is going to return. None of us knows. And so we want to be ready. Um, we want him to be able to say to us, well done, good and faithful servant. And then the third um, group of scripture is First Thessalonians 5, 5 through 8. You are all children of the light, children of the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be awake and sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation um, as a helmet. Thank God we have a new name. We are new creations in Christ. We are not who we used to be. And so uh, we want to work hard and work diligently uh, for the one who saved us, who is Jesus Christ. Um, we are very grateful for people who lived Christ before us, but no human being can be higher in our lives um, than the Lord himself. We have to keep him number one. We have to remember the wonderful things he has done. And um, the... We're just so grateful for what we learned from the Lord and learned from his word. Um, this is the prayer I have. Father, thank you that your word never fails to revive us. Help us to remember not to move from where you call us to minister. Help us to stand firm. Keep us alert. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen, you guys. Thank you so much uh, for letting me share tonight. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.